Sup everyone, I'm your female Taku, and I'm here to review episode 5 of Boku Daka Ga Inai Machi. And they did it! They did it! My favorite part of the manga that we're in right now, it got animated. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. You see, this is where the best girl wars are real. All right, because after you see Irie this episode, it's so hard. It's so hard. Like, who is best girl? Is it the mom? Is it Hinazuki? Is it Irie? Like, oh my gosh, just... <sighs> my favorite scene. Oh, they, they animated it. <laughs> so we fangirl for a little bit, okay? When we see one of the best girls go in to the manager, break his phone, and punch him square in the face. <laughs> oh, I was so happy. I was so happy. I'm not gonna lie, this episode uh, was a little faster paced than I expected, but it's not as bad as episode one. It's totally fine. Totally fine. I can get by with this. I was just so satisfied that they did the scene with uh, Irie punching the manager and breaking his phone. Just, oh. I love her. I love her, man. Best Girl Wars are real. I need to know. You guys, anyone who's watching this, who is your best girl in Boku Dake? Because it's just so hard. It is. <sighs> Alright, so. <sighs> With this episode of Boku Dake ga Inai Machi, in the beginning, we had where Satoru failed. Yes, he failed. The only change that he made was that Hinazuki got murdered a day later. Nothing much to do there. So therefore, because he failed, he ended up going back over to the present, the present this time being 2006, where he is still being framed for the murder of his mother. So he runs and he ends up uh, staying over with the manager, but things change when the manager was going to turn him over to the police. Which is understandable, but still, it's, it's also a kind of sneaky move, man. Uh, you're stowing away the criminal only to to turn him in. It, it's kind of, it's a little sad, I'm not gonna lie. So then, Satoru runs, and then that's where he meets Airi, okay? Oh, I love her so much, okay? And so he stays over at Airi's place, and then Airi goes back to get some food over at her job, where the manager is talking with some other guy, and we see that the manager has some pretty weird feelings for Airi, okay? And she's 17, and the manager, uh, he's, he's a, a little younger than Satoru, I believe. I don't remember, I'm not positive. But, yeah, there was that, and so, as Irie leaves the pizza place, a man is staring at her. Mm -hmm. A man is staring at her in the distance. And then later on, at the end of the episode, Irie gets a text, and it's from Satoru's mother's phone. And it can't be from Satoru, because she confiscated his phone. So that, therefore she knew, my smart girl Irie, she knew that something wasn't right and that it was the killer and immediately, bam, her house is on fire. <sighs> I want you guys to pay attention to the craftiness of the killer, okay? Just, we also get some hints, actually, when Satoru was looking through, like, uh, records and stuff like that to see maybe what else has changed. Um, he he um, notices and remembers that there was a murder uh, around his town three years ago, a similar case in which the the person that they arrested also said the entire time that he was innocent. So it seems like that we're starting to see a pattern. They're hinting that the killer might have been murdering all along. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Anime onlys, are you not entertained by the greatness that is Boku Daka ga Inaimachi? Oh man, uh, I, I was so happy. We're, we're also gonna get into even more of my uh, favorite parts within next week's episode. And uh, then it's gonna keep on going from there, man. You're, you're not ready. Don't say you're ready, cause you're not. Unless if you're a manga reader, you're not ready, okay? Just, uh we're into my favorite parts right now. And it's just gonna keep on getting better and better 
more intense, thrilling, okay? It, it, it's exciting. It really is. But since uh, Satoru failed with trying to save Hinazuki, therefore his mother's dead, the only thing that he can do right now is to find the culprit and clear his name. How is he gonna do that? We'll have to see. Well, you guys will have to see. I'm not gonna separate this video into where I'm gonna talk to the manga readers. I really have nothing to say specifically to the manga readers other than like what I said at the beginning, how the pacing was a little faster than I expected, but I'm, I'm, all, I'm all fine. It's fine. All good. I'm okay. So, catch you later as I review Assassination Classroom Season 2 and Girls Beyond the Wasteland. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.